On Monday, we found out that the U.S. existing home sales plunged in May, but realtors think that that was a bottom. The Australian economy is outperforming, but the RBA's low warned that the coronavirus shadow could last for years. The New Zealand credit card spending jumped 52.8% in May. Welcome to the Tickmill Update. I'm Kenna Daniel, the founder of the Invest Diva movement. Make sure to subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel and support us by liking and sharing this video with your Forex trading friends. On Tuesday, we'll be eyeing the U.S. market manufacturing PMI for June and New Zealand's interest rate decision. Today, I'm looking at the Aussie dollar pair on the weekly chart for a long-term outlook. The pair tried testing above the weekly Ichimoku cloud beginning of June, but it failed. We can now see a formation of a bullish engulfing calcic chart pattern while the future Ichimoku cloud also turning bullish. But since the pair has recently bottomed out from a 17-year low of 0.54, we could expect a bit of a consolidation here before further gains. The key medium-term support is at 0.67, which is the 50% Fibonacci tracement level. Meanwhile, if the pair is able to break above the Ichimoku cloud, the doors will open up for further gains towards 0.74. Do you think the Aussie dollar pair will see yet another bearish momentum? Head over to the comment section and let me know. Of course, trading in the financial markets involves a risk of loss and you should only trade the money that you can afford to lose. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel. I'll get back to you with more updates tomorrow.